everybody. So last week's Bejeweled Heels was such a big hit that I'm going to keep the prom theme going. And you know me, an entire wardrobe is not complete unless your nails can rise to the occasion. So get ready to show those fingernails off during your prom photo shoot with my Gradient Nails manicure. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so a gradient manicure means that the colors on your nail will fade from light to dark or from dark to light. That means you're going to need several different types of nail polish. The first is a base coat to protect your nails. The second, which is optional, is a coat that's going to match the color of your nail. I chose this translucent baby pink color. Then you're going to need the actual colors that you want for your gradient. I'm sort of obsessed with sky themes lately, so I'm going to be going with the Midnight Sky Gradient. I nabbed shades in baby blue, royal blue, and midnight blue. To finish off the entire look, you're going to want to sparkle things up. You'll want to grab glitter as well as confetti nail polish. I found these nail polishes at a drugstore for less than a dollar each. Oh, and you're gonna need a top coat too. My base coat just serves as my top coat, so I'm going to be using that. You'll also need a makeup sponge, painting tray, tape, nail polish remover, and cotton balls or swabs. Before beginning, you can tape off your nails like I did in my marbled manicure video from a while back. This is going to help keep your nails clean as you work with the polish. I'm not going to be doing that for this video, but you're welcome to start with that step first. All right, let's do this. Step one, paint your base coat to your nail. The base coat helps to bond the polish to your nail while also smoothing your nail out to ensure that the polish paints on smoother. Step two, once your top coat dries, paint on the coat that matches your nail color. Now this stuff is optional and you can just move into your main colors, but I like the idea of not having to repaint the base of my nail as it grows. This is why I recommended the nude color of nail polish so that you can have a natural base look as your nails grow out. I accidentally bought translucent baby pink, so I'm going to need three to four coats of this stuff. While it does look really pretty, I would still recommend an opaque coat for you in order to speed things up. I should mention here that you need to let your nails dry about five to ten minutes between each coat. Otherwise, the colors could blend together and you're gonna ruin your overall gradient effect. Step three, if you're doing a light to dark gradient like me, pour your lightest color of nail polish into a painting tray. Dip the straight edge of your makeup sponge into the polish. Press the sponge onto the tip of your nail first and then work your way down to the lower half of your nail. You'll see that the paint appears faded on the nail, which is exactly the look that you're going for. You can reapply the polish to the sponge as many times as you like until your nail has a pretty dusting of light color. Step four, using the different part of your sponge, repeat the process with your medium color. Finish off the gradient with your darkest color. Now this definitely should be applied minimally so as not to overwhelm the lighter colors. Make sure to start with a tiny amount and work your way in from there. Step six, this is my favorite part, it's time to add your glitter. Apply your glitter nail polish to your entire nail in order to connect the colors together. Then apply your confetti nail polish to the darkest color of your gradient. Feel free to dump the confetti polish into the painting tray so you can select all the chunky pieces you want for your nail. Move the confetti around until you reach your desired look. You can use a toothpick here if you're having trouble with the nail polish brush. Technically, you're all done, but don't forget to use your top coat to seal in that midnight sky, especially all of that loose confetti glitter. You may need to wait about an hour or so before applying the top coat so that way you make sure you're not blurring the paint on your nail. And there you go, a midnight sky gradient manicure. Now remember that even though this manicure is prom themed, you can do this look anytime. You can do a rainbow gradient or you can go from left to right. One of my fans on Twitter used green and red with black dots in order to create a watermelon gradient, which is such a great idea. The possibilities are endless. What colors did you end up choosing for your gradient manicure? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking that button right up there. Click right up there. Click right up there. You got it. Right up there to the subscribe button. What? Are you waiting for bloopers or something? I don't have any bloopers. I didn't mess up during nail manicure. I know exactly what I'm doing. If you click up there, maybe I'll make some bloopers, huh? The more you click, the more mistakes I'll make. Mm, that doesn't sound right.